Hey everyone, Scrubman here with another video from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video, uh, trying to get some videos out there for you guys to watch. Um, and today I'm going to, um, raid a few locations and show you guys a little bit of the raiding from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, for those of you that may have not seen it, or just like to watch, um, the gameplay. Um, uh, so in... Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the whole purpose of raiding the abbeys is to get supplies uh, and goods to make your settlement bigger and better. Um, and as well as a lot of them have treasure, um, such as this um, gear, um, raw materials or rare materials to upgrade your armor or whatnot. So we're actually going to start with this one over here. I just got to get close to the body of water um, so I can call my long ship. Um, in order to raid um, something, you have to call your longship uh, with your crew um, of Vikings so that you can um, have them assist you. Um, a lot of times you can walk up to a location that can be raided and you'll see a place where you can raid it and you can just call your ship right next to it um, versus sailing all the way there. Um, so it kind of depends on how much time that do you really have. Um, so we're going to call over my three-tailed fox over here. Um, and head over to this body of water so that I can call the longship. And we'll go over to our first raid. I think I got two. I'm going to try getting in. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. Alright, so we're at the body of water. Oop. Are gonna make me swim? What jerks? Somebody's getting fired for that one. So the rating is actually pretty fun um, for those of you that have not played Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, it's pretty intense. You got a lot of enemies. Um, they have to help you knock down doors. They light buildings on fire. Um, right it gets pretty there. pretty crazy. Um, really exciting uh, on some of them. Uh, some of them are pretty simple, easy, quick ones. Um, you can also raid, I think, like river bases that are like right on the banks. Um, this is one of the church abbeys that give a lot of good stuff too. Um, so we're going to start there. So you go to these little locations here and they'll hit the start raid. And you hit that and you go. I do want to point out, and I know I'm a little late, um, some of the games that will be featured on my content um, are going to be mature rated games uh, for the most part. So if you got um, kids around or kids that like to watch uh, gameplay and they're watching my channel, uh, please just keep that in mind. And again, for anybody who would like to see the gameplay of the new Dead Space, I will be featuring that um, this coming weekend uh, when the pre-order releases. I'm pretty excited about this game. Um, so we'll see what they deliver for us. So these are uh, so use the raw materials to fortify your base. They do count towards the area completion as well, guys. As you saw, uh, the gold um, boxes get check marked um, or get filled down there. So um, the stuff that you raid from the abbey uh, does count towards that. So that's technically the end of that. I like to go through and get these little chests you see glowing. Um, they usually have some good stuff in them as well. 
uh, anything from money to uh, supplies. Just trying to be a little thorough. If you're gonna take stuff, might as well take all of it, huh? Uh, the opal that you see there is used to spend at this uh, this character's uh, market. Um, they get like special gear and stuff. Oh, that was a total miss. Oh, got him good that time. The uh, one thing I loved about Assassin's Creed Valhalla was that the uh, um, finishers are pretty brutal. <laughs> I mean, you, you really can't uh, get any better than that. All right, so that's it for this one. I believe I got one more I can do for you guys at this time. Um, I do need to find it. Um... Uh, right here. Um, unfortunately, I'm not any. Don't have any places close. What do you guys think? That one or this one? We'll go to this one. <clears throat> this though, I have not gotten very far in this game, so I still got lots to show you guys in boss fights coming up. Um, campaign gameplay if you guys want to see that you know a lot of people are sort of iffy about that because of spoilers um, if that is the case it is fine I do not need to show the uh, campaign gameplay um, I do think some of the bosses would be pretty cool to see um, I've gotten one of the sisters um, so far I think I got, oops, I can see I keep doing that, I keep hitting the wrong one. on our way down there um, and just like Assassin's Creed Black Flag you could have your crew uh, tell stories or songs in this one Alright guys, here we go. Now I just want to point out that is how you make an entry during invasion. Oh, 
I thought would have been a good finisher, but my guy took it. The throwing of the axes is probably one of my favorite finishers so far, in case y'all didn't know. Alright, all those guys are all dead. Get some rations here. Fall and me strength. Help me out here. Look at this little See what we get. Oh, we got some more raw materials. It's good. It's good. Little chest told you guys about. <clears throat> so, what are y'all's thoughts in, uh, of Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Let me know in the uh, comments what you guys think of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, maybe what even what is your favorite Assassin's Creed in the franchise? Um, Valhalla is probably one of my tops. Um, I really enjoy the uh, the Nordic and Viking culture. Um, but I did like Assassin's Creed 3. Um, I thought Odyssey wasn't too bad either. Uh, and maybe, you know, even let me know what Assassin's Creed timer would you like to see them make? Um, I know that's another one uh, a lot of people discuss when it comes to the franchise is what would they like to see in the next un upcoming Assassin's Creed. So we got Mirage coming out next uh, next December, I believe. Uh, that is going to be in uh, Agent Baghdad, um, which is going to be interesting, I think. I am actually pretty excited for it. So definitely let me know what you guys think about all that. Uh I think we may have only a few more. Oops, I do not know. I do that almost all the time. Oh, I thought I would get some. I thought it was a turkey. I guess it wasn't. Oh, it was not a turkey. I think we got everything. Looks like we did. Alrighty. Um, let me see. How will we go and see if we can upgrade the settlement, huh? I think I only need to build one more thing in order to upgrade my settlement. See if all this plunder in him, kill him, pays off. No, oh, somebody's angry. So these hut structures, uh, a lot of them, when you start out. Um, in England and you build your settlement up you'll see these and you'll have to raid and stuff in order to build um, your settlement up and as you do you'll rise up through the uh, six settlement ranks uh, six being the highest I know three and six are uh, trophies if you keep track of those or, or achievements on Xbox um, so when you reach level three and then the final level of six, you will get um, those trophies. Um, there's quite a few of them. There's a stable, um, a few of them that are, rela are related to like the Order of the Agents, um, the Assassins, like uh, Bureau of the Hidden Ones. Um, there's some stuff for creating uh, stuff for your ship. Uh, I think there is an Armor Smith one. Or smithy of some sort. The brewery. There's some places like this that are like buffs. Um, there's a bakery, a brewery, 
and, and there's another one too. Um, and everything gives you perks. There's a, a hunter's lodging or something where it's that's where all the legendary animal stuff. There's a fishing one as well. So when you catch fish, hunt certain animals and stuff like that, you get awards. Um, you get rewards back for the stuff that you kill and hunt. Uh, you can go in there and trade stuff in for stuff. Um, kind of like challenges, like in the Assassin's Creed 3, you have the Hunter and, you know, Frontiersman challenges and stuff. It's kind of like that, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, so that way, this the the work you put into the fishing achievement, uh, which is also a trophy, catching one of every fish and killing the legendary animals, the time and energy you put into doing those will not only get you the trophies, but they'll also... Um, give you other rewards that you can use throughout the game as well um which is nice so yeah it looks like i can build this so we'll go ahead and build that yeah so i just hit rank six or rank four i'm sorry I'm a little tired guys So I have something is happening near Walker's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. I have a few more I gotta get. Um The Foul Farm I know is another one that gives you a buff. I believe that's what this is right here. Yep. Um, so I got to find where the other stuff is. I have played this game a decent amount and still um, get lost on where things are. That may be the only thing I'm able to upgrade. I think this is the tattoo shop. I can't upgrade that. Let's see. That's not really something that does a lot of good for you. It's mainly for a character customization. Guys, you can put tattoos and stuff on your, um, on your character. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to do that one. Just to get me a, a little more of a boost. Which is fine. Still builds me up. And guys, when you are leveling up your settlement, it does not matter what order uh, you do this stuff in. Um, I think there's a few that are kind of story related uh, in their quests, and you'll build them first. But as far as, the, I think there's maybe two or three of those. The rest is going to be uh, just how, whichever ones you want to do first. There's no order you need to go into on which ones to build. So... But don't feel like you got to build in the same order as me. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for the day. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think and want to see. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.